This is another day that God has given us, yeah. and we are up above the ground, right. and we're able to worship him, Amen. and worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. Amen. And uh, he's worthy of that. So we just want to worship the Lord and thank him for the great things that he has done, great things that he is doing. And we just know that he's so good. He's going to do great things as he has done in the past, and he's doing it right now. Amen. Bless his holy name. God is a good God, isn't he? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We want to say good morning to Facebook listeners, those who uh, follow us and listen to us on Facebook on Sunday mornings, we're certainly uh, grateful for that and uh, appreciative. I want to just uh, start off, and I want to I want to pray this morning. I just I just want to pray, and after which uh, I will ask uh, uh, Reverend Hampton. He come with with the scripture, and uh, I I just I just feel the need so every now and then you just need to feel the need uh, to pray amen 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 and uh, I'm going to ask uh, brother Tim if he could just give us some soft music and I want you to just uh, not only listen to me pray I want you to pray I want you to pray uh, we, we need to find ourselves bombarding heaven and asking God to move uh, not only on this United States of America, but we need to get personal and ask him to move personally in my life, in your life, in the lives of my children, your children, in the lives of our families. We need God. We need him every day and every hour. Amen, amen. So we just want you to pray with us this morning. And we're just going to believe God. And uh, uh, we, we have some prayer requests. And we will continue to pray. We'll continue to pray. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't you just lift your hands and tell the Lord thank you. This is a good time to thank him right now. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name. We bless you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. Glory to your name. Our Father and our God, our Lord, our Savior, our creator and maker of all mankind, thou, O oh God, who knoweth our down sitting. You know our uprising. You know our thoughts far off. God, you are acquainted with all of our ways. There's nothing, God, that's too big for you to handle. You are mighty, God. You are able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we could even ask or think. And we come right now and we bow our heads humbly before you. So, God, today we come, first of all, we confess that we have sinned, we've come short. We confess, God, that we've not given you our best. There are times we could have done better. There are times we need to have done better. There are times, God, you spoke to our hearts and told us to do better, but somehow we allowed ourselves to ignore your voice. But today, God, we want to come clean with you and ask you to forgive us, cleanse us of all of our sins, all of our iniquities. Wash us, God, one by one. Bless us. Teach us how to walk by faith and not by sight. We need you right now. Oh, God, we need you. Hold us in the heart of your hand. Keep us, God. Help us to be grateful for your blessed privilege and spirit of allowing us to come together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, into this world 
to tabernacle here some 33 years and then go out to a hill called Calvary. There he shed his blood for a wretch like me. God, I thank you for it right now. I ask you, God, please, sir, accept our coming. Let not our coming be in vain. Guide us over, thou grant Jehovah, as we pilgrim through this barren land. God, we are weak, but thou art mighty. I pray thee you hold us with your powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We ask you to bless in this city. God, bless in this city. Bless all around us, God. And God, what writer says, whatever you are doing, please don't do it without us, God. Include our sin that we might be a part of witnessing and praising and lifting your holy name and inviting others to come to you and to help them to know that you are the mighty God. You are the Prince of Peace. We thank you right now. God, there are so many people going through sickness different health issues, health problems. God, it seemed like by the time we get one thing straightened out, something else is going wrong. But oh God, you're a healer. You're a healer and a deliverer. God, by your stripes, we are healed. And you know all of the people. God, we might not just call their name, but you know who they are. You know what they're going through. You know those who are in the hospital. You know those who are out of the hospital. You know those who are still struggling with certain situations. Would you touch right now? Breathe, God. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe, God. Breathe. Breathe right now, we pray. Hallelujah. We want the anointing, the breath of the Holy Spirit to be upon us right now. We need you, dear Master. We found out and we understand doesn't matter what you have. Cancer is not too big for you. Oh God, mental problems are not too big for you. God, there are things that's going on in our bodies, in our lives. God, we must plead your blood because the blood works, God. It works, it works, it works. We say yes, Lord. There are those, even in this place right now, who are going through some difficulties, God, with their families, with their children, God. We plead the blood right now. We ask you to move, God. Move in a mighty way. And help us to understand we must not be weary in well-doing, for we shall reap if we faint not. God, help us to understand. Oh, yes, we try. We speak. We try to preach to them. We try to... Uh, minister to him, God. And sometimes the more we try to minister, seem like the further they walk away from you. But God, you're the one that holds the line. You hold the ropes. And you know what we're standing in the need of. So God, I pray right now by the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. God, Bless in Arkansas. Bless across this United States. Bless in the political arena. Bless God. Our government. Help our government to understand that God, you have not allowed and appointed people to just be there to see how much funds they can gain and put in their own pocket. But God, it is to help all of us to have a decent life. Teach us, God. There's so much going on. All of the homeless. God, we see what's going on all around us. And we're praying, God, that you'll move in a miraculous way. People are unappreciative. We'd say they, they say, well, I can't find a job. And we go to places every day where they have needing help signs up would you touch right now we know you can do it Lord so God we want to pray right now as we fellowship in this place 
I pray that God, nobody will leave here just saying, Pastor preached a good sermon. But I want to preach, God, that somebody will think along the way and rethink. And God asked ourselves, where are we with thee? God, you say, he that cometh to you must believe that you are and you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. We should mock you in this place. We say hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Bless each church door that stands open in your name. Oh, God. Oh, God, help us not to feel like we need to compete with one another. But just help us to stand strong, to walk circumspectively. We love you, God. We love you right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Brother Jackson, thank you, God. Brother Herbert Jones, thank you, Lord. Sister Yvonne Lowe, thank you, Lord. Sister Peggy, God, with Fork, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Brother James Johnson, hallelujah. God, thank you. Reverend Derek Newburn, thank you right now. You are doing a new thing. You are doing a good thing. We're believing you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless right now. Every person in this house, oh God, every need may it be met in the name of Jesus. For there is none other, neither is there any other name under heaven given, whereby men must be saved, other than the name of Jesus Christ. Save, Lord. Save, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you right now. We love you, God. God, when we don't even know how to pray as we ought, we thank you that you already know our hearts. You already know our minds. Not only that, God, but you know what we need even before we ask you. May God, give us the strength to wait. Scripture says wait. And again, I say wait upon the Lord. Men should always pray and not faint. We praise you right now. Glory. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can believe that, if you can receive it, I want you to just raise your hands and just tell the Lord, thank you right now. Hallelujah. Every once in a while, you just got to stop long enough to say, I receive it, Lord. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it, Jesus. Tell me, I receive it for my family. I receive it. I receive it for my own mentality. I receive it for my children. I receive it for my parents. I receive it for my city. I receive it for my county. God, I receive it right now. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory. Glory to the name of our Lord and our Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like I say good morning to everyone. It's indeed another great pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And we just thank God for just allowing us just to be here today. Our scripture reading is going to be found in the 24th number of Psalms, Psalm of David, the 24th number of Psalms. I'm going to read it in its entirety this morning. The earth is the Lord's, the earth is the Lord's. and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded upon the seas and establishes upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? 
He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. I have read your entire 24th number of Psalm. May the Lord bless the readers and the hearers and the doers of his holy and his most righteous word. Amen, amen. Allow me to share very briefly. Uh, we always try to put our announcements on the screen and uh, hopefully uh, you see them. Uh, I do want to, because I was asked to make a special announcement, uh, revival at the Gethsemane Baptist Church the 10th through the 12th of August. And uh, they're inviting uh, churches throughout the city uh, to come and be a part of that. And uh, so uh, you get a chance uh, to do that. It, it has uh, guest pastors and churches and uh, different ones uh, that's on the program have Reverend Bill, he's one of ours, so uh, he will be a, a part of that on the Wednesday that has me. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I will be there. I will do a short, uh, uh, what am I doing? A, a short something. Uh, but, but the preacher uh, will be El, uh, John Spears. So, uh, uh, we would invite you to come, not not just because I'll be on or Reverend Bill will be on, but because we want to support Amen. Uh, our sister church. Yes. So we ask you to do that. Also, there is a uh, women's conference, and I did not have a chance to get that where we could get it on the uh, screen, a women's conference that will be going on at the uh, Union Baptist uh, Church, and this will I think start in September uh, the 23rd. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll ask uh, Sister Crosby if she'll come. Uh, Amen. Uh, ready to move a little further. Good morning, everyone. It's Good a blessing morning. to be here one more time. Amen. Amen. This is a old song that uh, was placed on my heart and so you all just bear with me praise God Nothing 
could be. Christ is all, all and all this world to me. There are some folk who look and long for this world's there are some folk who look for power and possessions too. Oh, but I have a Christ who's in my life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, and that's what makes me happy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, he's all, he's all, all in all, this world Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Christ is all. 
his name. Christ is all. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you got him, that's enough. that's enough. You don't need nobody else. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I you to pray for us and uh, as we share with you from the 11th chapter of Hebrews, the 11th chapter of Hebrews. So good to see everyone here. Amen. 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 God bless. Thank all of you. Thank you so very much uh, for being here. And uh, let us uh, try to encourage our people. Let's let's encourage our people. Those who yes. are not here, exactly. let's encourage them uh, to come on back. I, you know, I don't want to stand up here and hear what we hear all the time. You go to the store, you go here, you go there. Uh, although all of that is true, but uh, I don't want to use uh, tactics that uh, uh, to try to embarrass people yeah. or to manipulate. Yeah. I want you to come back because you love the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, you know, I, I just I just love the Lord. And uh, I just want to be in the presence. One of the, one of the ways you can know that you know that you know you love the Lord is that you enjoy being in the presence yes. of God's people, God's people. and that's important. Amen. 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 I would uh, that you would uh, turn with me to the eleventh uh, chapter of Hebrews. I want to begin reading at the first verse, the first verse. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh -huh. the evident of things not seen. Yes. For by it the elders obtain a good report or a good testimony. Yes. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, yes. so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Mm. Wow, how about that? Yeah. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, yes. through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of this gift, and through it, he being dead, still speaketh. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Amen. I want to I talk to us for a few minutes. I hope it makes sense. But I want to talk to us about a nevertheless faith. A nevertheless faith. Amen. Yes. Amen. Faith. The, uh, faith is one of those things that uh, the Apostle Paul says uh, comes by hearing yes. and hearing by the word of God. Yes. He that cometh to God must believe yes. that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. This Hebrew writer, I'm not sure who wrote the Hebrews. There are some people who uh, say, well, I'm going to go on to heaven believing that it was Apostle Paul. It could have been, yeah. and it may not have been. Yeah. There are those who think it probably was Apollos yeah. uh, who wrote the book of Hebrews. 
there are a number of people that some have suggested could have been the writer. We, we do not really know, but we yeah. do know this. It is a potent book. Yeah. It is a book that's full of rich information, yeah. and more especially when it comes to uh, the subject of faith, faith. And I tell you, uh, in the writing here, it says, now faith, now faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. He goes on to tell us that the worlds were framed not by what we see, but it was framed and God orchestrated and God created, yeah. God made a world to become something out of completely nothing. Yeah. We, uh, we can look at uh, sometime the, uh, on the side of this hill, we see all of those trees back there and uh, we look and we see these buildings and uh, you, you, you cannot say uh, this building was created, it was built. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, was, it was built by men, women, uh, those whom we know. Yeah. But what makes God so supreme and so superior yeah. is that God took nothing and made something. Yeah. Well. Now, when I say he took nothing, mm -hmm. I'm talking about material possession. Yeah. Because what he did take, it was not material, but it was his word. In the multiplicity of words, God said, let there be. Yeah. Now, how in the world, other than us believing by faith, how in the world can the bird come forth? Where does the bird come from? Let, let the birds of the air. I, where did the bird come from? And it came forth by virtue of the fact he just spoke. Let there be. Let that be. Yeah. Now, we, we, we have, uh, in, in hot springs, we have different mountains and we have uh, different uh, rivers or, or lakes and all of these kind of things. Th those things did, did not just pop up. All right. It's because of God's power, yeah. God's anointing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, I was listening to the television the other day, and uh, they were talking about, and I can't remember where it was, but uh, how water had uh, risen uh, so many feet in just a matter of, like, minutes, not, yeah. not really an hour. Yeah. And, 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 and they said, that's not possible. Nah. Well, I guess it is. It, is. Right. it happened, right? <laughs> Okay, so when we look at faith, faith here in the Bible, we are told is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. I don't know if I can trust this. I don't know if I can trust that. I don't know if I can trust the police department, I don't know if I can trust the armed forces. There, there are some things that I just don't know whether I can trust. I don't know if I can trust our political arena. I don't, there are some well, things I do not know. Well, well, but I am convinced yeah. I can trust God. Yeah, that's right. I can trust his word. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a mighty God. Yeah. Now, I, I want us to uh, look very closely, starting at verse 4. 
The Bible tells us by faith, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. He was righteous, and God testified of this gift, and through, and though he being dead, still speaking. Now, how about that? How about that? The first two sons of Ab uh, 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 Adam and Eve. Yeah. First two sons yeah. of Adam and Eve. Yeah. Brothers. Yeah. Brothers. Yeah. They were from the bloodline of Adam and Eve. Yeah. Right. This within itself is unique. All right. Because they came by way of birth yeah. of their mother and father getting together. Yeah. Their mother and father didn't come by birth. Well. They came by breath after God had collected some abstract from dirt well. and formed them into clay well. and breathed into their nostrils and they became a living soul. Yeah. And so God tells Adam and Eve that they were to multiply and to replenish. Yeah. Now, how, how, do you, how do you replenish with children, and you've never seen children. You, you, there has been no example of how a man and woman come together and have a child. But yet God tells him, yeah, you, you, he's given him the privilege, he's given him the opportunity to name the animals, he's given them the privilege to name this, name that, and all of it, and he says to have dominion over it. Yeah. And now, Brother Adam, <clears throat> and Sister Eve gets together, and they have children. Yeah. Now, there was not but two examples on earth at that time of how to worship. They had to learn from mother and father. This thing of worship, yeah. which suggests to me, which suggests to me that Erica, Demetria, Donna, and Donald, they ought to have had some kind of teaching and instructions All right. about how to worship God before they ever got to the church. Because this teaching of worship and praising God and lifting him up needs to start at home. One of the things I like about the text, it's, it's very specific, specific that it tells us that both of them brought their sacrifice to the Lord. Watch me now. Both of them brought their sacrifice to the Lord. There's a problem here. There's a problem. Well. One of them, their sacrifice was accepted. Yeah. The other, it was rejected. Y'all yeah. ain't hearing me. So, so listen to this. They both raised up in the same house, All right. they both had the same parents, yeah. they both, I think, had some opportunity of learning from their mother and father about 
what it takes to please God. But the other side of that coin is we have to understand God has not made us as robots. God has made us and given us a free will. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It, in other words, you can worship him if you want to. Yeah. And you cannot worship him if you choose not to do so. Yeah. You can give him what he asks for yeah. or you can give him what you want to give him. Now, I just said something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, real worship is about giving God what he asks for. Give, give God, no, don't just, don't, no, no, don't, don't just come and just throw it on the table where you better be glad you got that because I didn't have to give you that. Well, when you, if you're going to play that game, God didn't have to give you what you just gave to him because all of it belonged to him. The earth is the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the flood. Everything belongs to God. And so here they are. They come. And the Bible says, the Bible says, I'm, I'm not making it up. I'm not making it up. Look, look what the Bible says. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Isn't that, isn't that powerful? Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. Then his brother came. You wonder sometimes, why is it that, I, I know I'm wearing them out on that camera. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, help me, Jesus. It's hard for me to be still sometimes, but y'all know. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, it, it's hard to understand why I suppose in every family you have children. Why is it that some of those jokers just as stingy as they can be? Just stingy. Just, just, I mean, I mean, just stingy for real. And then you got that other person. Uh, they they just as liberal as they can be. They 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 are givers. And 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 then you got the one who stingy said, "That's why you ain't gonna have nothing because you're always giving everything away." But they have not come to learn yeah. that you are blessed to be a giver. And the more you give, the more God gives to you. Yeah. Lord, help us, Jesus. Lord, help us, Jesus. And so the Bible says that Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than his brother Cain. And, and this, this, this is what blows my mind, Rambeel. God, I don't know if he just blurts it out. I, I don't know if, if, if they waited for uh, Sunday service, I doubt it they did, but, uh, but, but God made it known. Abel and Cain didn't have the privilege to say, I brought more than you or I gave a better sacrifice yeah. than you. God says that Abel offered a more, yeah, the excellent, Sacrifice yeah. than his brother. Yeah. Help me to understand. Why is it that we get angry? Why is it that we get upset? Why is it that we get bent out of shape? Because the, there you go. Somebody does better than what we're doing. And they get a little pat on the back. And we get upset. Oh, that's just that's just they old pet there. Yeah, that's just they favorite. They they always says, Well, if you want folks to say something about you good, do good too. Yeah, that's right. I mean, really. Yeah. More especially when it comes to God. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you want God, and I do want him to brag on me. I do. I do. Yeah. And uh, I, try to, I try to give him my best, and sometime I've given to the Lord, and the Lord has said, that's not enough. 
You can do better than that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, I can do what he says to do yeah. and say, well, I'm going to keep it in a way. And then, then a little further down the road, I'm crying, Lord, help me, Jesus. Lord, where you at, Lord? You, you promised, Lord, you were going to be with me. See, what we have to understand, God, this sacrificial business, this offering of sacrifice, yeah. please hear me. God is more concerned about your attitude yeah, yeah. than he is about the gift that you're giving. Do I need to say that again? We would be surprised how attitude can get us disconnected and out of right relationship yeah. and fellowship with God. Lord. Mm. Oh, yeah. right. Now, after all, it is God who said, Abel, yeah. you did good. Yeah. You, you did good. Well. Thank you. Thank you, son. You did well. You did well. Yeah. How would you feel? How would I feel? Well, Both of us standing there, and God said, boy, you did good. And he looked at, looked at me and said, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yeah. Now, what, y y yes, uh, Abel was, uh, you know, a shepherd. Uh, Cain was uh Worked in the field and all of this kind of yeah. stuff. It, you know, it, it doesn't have anything to do with their occupation. Well. What it has to do with is attitude. Yeah. Giving God what he asked for. Brother Moxley could come and he could put $100 on the table. I can put $100 on the table. The truth of the matter is what makes the difference is attitude. Attitude. Yeah. Attitude. attitude. Do, do I feel like I'm special because I can do this and the other person can't do it? Cain gets angry. Yeah. He upset. I did tell you tell you all they're brothers. Yeah. Yeah. He got upset. Now you do know we have a tendency. We have the tendency to get mad at the one we can touch. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, why are you getting mad at me? God the one accepted mine, and he rejected yours. Why, why are you getting mad at me? <laughs> After all, I'm your brother. I'm your brother. And can you imagine brothers one tricking the other out in the field so he can do him harm? And for what? Because he failed to do what God told him to do, and the brother did what God told him to do. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. It's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's one thing to get a little salt in your jaw. But when you become angry, angry. <laughs> until that thing bother you so much so, you decide, okay, God. It's almost like he's trying to upset God now. Yeah. You didn't brag on me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure you don't get a chance to brag on him again. Now, now, 
I've, I've been taught, I've been taught, I, I'm, 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 I'm ready to stop. But I've been taught. You, you know, in my, in my hometown, uh, there, was, there was the Robinsons. I don't know, what of, uh, some of, one of them followed me sometimes, so they, they may be uh, uh, listening to me, but they know it, I'm telling the truth. That, that Robinson's, it was a Robinson here, a Robinson there, there was a Robinson everywhere. And boy, if you fought one of them, you had to fight them all. I mean, they, 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 they bring it on. They, they were in for a good fight. They, they, hey, we family, and we going to take care of each other. So here, here you are, and we have been taught. You don't sit back and laugh if your brother getting beat up. Well. You try to help your brother. Am I making any sense? Now, I know uh, uh, we say uh, teeth and tongue fall out every once in a while. You know, it's in your mouth, so the tongue get in the way, and you happen to bite it. But that's not the norm. You don't, you don't bite and fight. We may be wrestling. Yeah. We, we may be playing around. But you don't fight your brother. Your biological brother, well. you uh, carry the same name. You don't fight your brother, yeah. and if you do, you get over it real quick. That's right. But do you fight your brother so bad until anger begins to build up in your heart? Lord. And instead of the, you, you instead of you trying to come to a point, let's 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 just sit down. And let's just try to figure this thing out. Let us, hey, I, bro, what, what did you do yeah. that God got God's attention? That, that's all he really needed to do. Yeah, what, what did you do? I thought we both brought a sacrifice. I brought the sacrifice I had. But uh, what, what, what about you? Now, you got one grain of sacrifice that carries blood. And you have one that comes from uh, the field and all of this here. It don't make no difference if it's from the blood of an animal or it doesn't make any difference if it's from the field. Yeah. It's doing what God asks you to do. Hello. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I don't want to believe, believe in that. But I want to tell, and I hope somebody on Facebook to listen to me right now. I know we live in a fearful world. I know we live in a time where we are fearful, we're frightened, we're scared, all of this kind of stuff. But my question is, where is your faith? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if in fact, and I don't want to play that card, but if in fact we can go to uh, the ball game, or we can go to the concert. I'm talking about a religious concert. We go to the concert, and there are thousands of people yeah. in that place, yeah. and you packed in there like sardines, yeah. and you can't feel your church up no way. I hadn't been able to do it. You can, but you hadn't done it yet, and you're going to be scattered out. Why are we so scared to give God what he asked for. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pastor, now listen. Now listen. I, I'm still paying my money, and I am listening to you over television. Now, what more you want? It ain't what I want. It's what God wants. God said, forsake not the assembling yeah. of yourselves together. Hello. As some has done. Hello. Let's, how about just coming together? You, you, you're looking for healing. You want healing and all of this. Sometimes your healing may be held up because you refuse to do it his way. Oh, I, I heard all this stuff about God, y'all. 
I, I know y'all saying this and saying that, but I done prayed and I done prayed. I done believe God and all this. You, first of all, you don't even really understand Damn. the word of God. But because God hadn't did it for you at this time doesn't mean he can't do it. And it doesn't mean that he doesn't want to do it. You may be the problem. God is of a perfect uh, being or will that he can't go against his will. That's right. He wants to do for us. But we've got to play our part. Yeah. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah. And so, and so, the Bible says, and I really need to bring it to a close. I got to cut across the field here. Uh, but uh, the Bible says that Cain got upset. Yeah. He got angry. And he killed his brother. <sighs> wow. Kill his brother. Why? Because God says that Cain's sacrifice was unacceptable. Abel's was acceptable. The Bible is not 100% clear on why God actually accepted Abel's rather than Cain, other than the fact of giving God what he requires. Yeah. Possibly it could have been the attitude. An improper attitude can mess us up. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. A lot of times we sit up with wind in our jaw. And we upset, we angry. I've seen people get mad at the pastor. And you find out he said something in in in, in the message. I know he talking about me. You were the farthest thing away from me and my you, sometimes we think too much of ourselves. We think too much of ourselves. And we get angry. We get upset. We get bent all out of shape. Well. But I can tell you, if I said something, you might better check with God because I'm not doing anything like that intentionally. Well, yeah. May, maybe you're feeling guilty because yeah. God is bringing you under conviction. Yeah. Lord, help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, help us, help us. Well, I'm gone. He got angry. Yeah. He was upset. He tricked his brother. He got him out. And he killed his brother. His brother. Yeah. Killed his brother because his brother got an A. And maybe he got a C. Help us, Holy Ghost. Now, I, I told you I want to talk about a nevertheless faith. Cain was angry with him. Cain tricked him. Cain had bitterness in his heart against him. Yeah. Cain killed his own brother. Yeah. His brother is dead. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. Brother is killed by his own brother. Nevertheless, yeah. there's a God yeah. who sits high yeah. and he looks low. Yeah. He sees everything yeah. and everywhere you go. Oh, God. Look at Cain. You can see him coming back and no doubt just whistling and snapping his fingers and saying, 
Oh, Abel's dead and gone. Nobody's here to sing his soul. Oh, I, I don't know. He, he go, and the Lord said, where is Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Now, that, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know. That boy had a bad attitude. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You, you going to talk to God like that? You, you think your killing him is going to stop anything. God says, his blood yeah. cries, out cries out from the ground. You think killing him stopped anything, but his blood is still able to reach yeah. glory. What you say, Ham? Still, 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 speak. still speaking. <laughs> Just killing somebody yeah. does not stop them from speaking. Yeah. And some of us right in this place right now, I tell you, if we would tell the truth, we have some relatives, we have some uh, uh People were in school. We have people all over. They've been dead for a while. And every once in a while, we still hear them speaking. Yeah, yeah. You know, Mr. Cunningham, Joe, Joe I, I was saying yesterday, Mr. Cunningham uh, and Miss Cunningham, they, they, they were the science teachers, and, and they just stayed on my case. And now they've been dead a long time. Yeah. But I still hear them saying, Boy, why didn't you just do what I told you? Yeah. That's all you had to do. That's do it. You, you'd be much farther alone right yeah. now if you had did what I told you. Yeah. I don't know, Joe. Is that did or done? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be careful. You know, because I got an English teacher, and I just get wild sometimes. But. <laughs> But nevertheless, nevertheless, nevertheless God yes. is faithful. He is faithful. Yes. And he's to no respect of person. What he requires for one, he requires for another. And so, you can kill me. You can throw rocks. You can do this. You can do that. Yeah. I'll cut his tongue out. That does not stop you from speaking. Even when you've been buried yeah. and left in the wilderness, God has a way of bringing forth that voice. It was not a voice that Cain necessarily heard, but God heard it. You know why? It was a voice of faith. A voice of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to trust God. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. I don't know how you feel about it. There are times I have to confess, God, I've not given my best. I have to apologize. God, I've sinned. I've come short of your glory. I used to hear the old people saying, God, if I hadn't gone too far, would you please sir, forgive me, cleanse me, wash me thoroughly, 
that may be laid white as snow. You can almost hear the Lord saying to David in the Psalms when David says, in sin was I born. I came from my mother's womb. I was shaping in iniquity. And you can almost hear God saying, David, 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 David. Don't try to put that on your mama. You are the one. Need to answer for your own choices. Somebody today needs to trust God. Somebody needs to trust him. And if you hear the Lord speaking to your heart, and you're saying, I want to get it right. I want to get it right. There may be somebody listening over to Facebook. Believe God. Trust him. Trust him like never before. Amen. Amen. God is good. If you're here today, you can have a nevertheless faith. You may be listening over to Facebook. God is saying, just give me what I ask for. He'll do it. He'll do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you, my brothers and sisters, as we are getting ready to close. We want to remind you that you know how to do your offering. We have uh, Givelify and all of that. But uh, if you will, Brother Tim, just keep playing the music. Uh, we want to do what we know we need to do. And please go away today. Invite members. Invite people back. Tell them it'll make you happy to see them. Hallelujah. I want today, if you have a special request, and we will, we will come down, we will, I will pray. And we're going to believe God. And uh, we don't usually do this kind of call on our Facebook, but people need to see us praying. Hallelujah. And Pastor Bill, you and Reverend Hap, come up. Sister Debbie, you come up. Sister Debbie has asked for special prayer. We'll not go into all of the specifics amen but God knows God knows and there may be some others who are here that you're going through some things and we just want to pray we just want to pray come over to the center hallelujah hallelujah we need to pray we need to Believe God. Some of the things Sister Debbie is asking us to pray for, it deals with family. And we just want to pray because it might be her family today. It might be my family today. But I'm telling you, you, you think the word is right. It's true. God never sleep or slump. The devil doesn't either. He's awake all the time and looking for an opportunity to bring us down. Hallelujah. If there's someone else who want to come, we just want to pray. We just want to believe God. Hallelujah. When we have children, we have grandchildren, we have different concerns, 
We just want to believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pass the bill. I want him to just begin to pray and then Hamp and I we're going to just lay hands we're going to pray we're going to believe God we're going to pray specifically uh, family issues it's not necessarily fighting and falling out but it's concern yeah. it's concern and we need to be concerned for our family Amen, amen. I'm not sure about our brother, their special need. Or just, we just want to believe God. Okay, all right. Hallelujah. All right. Let me thank you right now. Thank you for that, Sister Debbie. to the altar. Pray it and believe it. God, thank you. Thank you for dealing with Thank you for it right now, God. I know there's a burden there. It's a heavy burden, God. But there is no burden so heavy that you can't have. So God, I just pray right now. Reveal yourself, God. Reveal yourself. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh God, we bless you right now. Oh glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sustain Jesus. us. Never suffer the righteous to be removed. God, the word says they are in a sick month. Let them sin for the elder of the church. And let them lay hand in nothing. And God, Hallelujah. believe in their faith, we Hallelujah. heal them. God, we Thank pray right you. now yeah. that you would right touch now, in a mighty direct way. I don't know, God, uh, what they're going through, but I know you're you all know, mighty. Lord. You know. And you're all known, God. Yeah. And mercy. I lift Have them up mercy, in a mighty direct way. Have mercy, Lord. Show yourself strong. Show yourself strong. We rely, God, to a God that said yeah. hi. And you look low. Yes, yes, yes. God, we pray. Your word said, God, yes. I shall not glory, die. Glory, glory. And proclaim glory. the word of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. God, touch the Hallelujah. Touch, in touch the Lord. mighty name of Touch you, Lord. Jesus. Touch you, Lord. Yes. Help and rely, Lord. God, that nothing name too hard that you cannot do. Lord Jesus. And we ask Lord Jesus. in your name. In your name. We call in your name the power. 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 In your name. They are delivered in your name. They are healer in your name. And that you touch, touch in a minor record way. Touch it all. Move in a minor record way. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Shower down your yes, blessing on her yes, right now. We plead the blood. Plead the blood. The blood. The blood. They are power in your blood. They are delivered in the blood. They are healing in the blood. Touch, touch it, Lord like you never touched before. Yeah. Touch it, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. This young man, God, 
touch it. Touch right now. Touch right now. Name. Yeah. By your stripes, by your stripes, stripes. Yeah. 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 in the name of in the name Jesus. Yeah. God ordered the step. Yeah. The good man step. Yeah. It ordered, ordered by, God. by the Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Touch it like you never touched it yeah. uh, before. Yeah. God, we know you can. We know you are able. Yeah. You have all power. All power. In heaven and earth in your yeah. hand. You have power you can speak. Yeah. And man will lay down and die. Yeah. That same power yeah. you can speak again. That man will get up and live yeah. again. Move in this place. Yeah. Move in this move, place. Move, Lord. move in her life. Glory, glory, glory. Move in this young yeah. man's yeah. life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I yeah. don't know that probably. I don't know that up and down. Yeah. But I plead the blood over there. Yeah. From the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Touch, Touch with Lord. your divine power. Touch. Touch, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do in it, your God. own way, do it, God. In your own time, yeah. we're not asking God for no outside show. Yeah. Will you move, God, in their life? Touch yeah. it right now. Touch yeah. in the name of Jesus. Touch, touch, touch in the touch name of Jesus. Touch, yeah. touch it, God. Touch it in touch the name of Jesus. Yeah. By faith, yeah. by faith. Touch it, God. Touch it, God. Touch, yeah. touch by your divine power. Yeah. Blessed in young man, God is young forever. Need you. They need you now. Break the yoke. Break every evil yoke. Pull down stronghold. Remove every hidden spirit. Every spirit not like you. Move of God in the name of Jesus. Your name, God. And God, if you would do this for us, we will give you the praise and the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. In your name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, Hallelujah. glory, glory. Hallelujah to high pray. Hallelujah. 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 He worthy. He worthy. Word. He worthy yeah. to be praised. We been may endure for night. But joy, joy, joy. joy. But joy. It's coming in the morning. In the morning, you can hold out. So in the morning, joy. Joy is coming in the morning. In the morning. Bless. Bless. Hey. Hey, glory. Bless this pastor. Touch him, God. Touch him, God. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Touch his family. Touch him, God. Keep him in your care. Oh, glory, Touch him. Glory, 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 glory. He may continue to carry your word. Hold him in the heart of your hand, God. Hold him, God. Hold yeah. him and keep him in your love and keep him in your care. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. We love you. Yes, yes. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you because you first love us. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, glory. God bless you. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why don't you just stand on your feet and just give the Lord a praise? Just thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just pray. Pray. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I encourage you, receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for all of us. Let's continue to pray one for the other. 
these are some very real things that we're going through and uh, all of us going through something one way or the other. But I can tell you, none of us caught God by surprise. God is able. He's going to bring us out uh, more than conquer us. Let's continue to remember Brother and Sister Ashley. Uh, Brother Sean had a procedure this past week, so let's keep him lifted before the Lord. And uh, we want to just continue to keep uh, Brother James and uh, just different ones. I, I, I hate really calling names because inevitably you forget somebody. But uh, God knows our heart. We will not have our uh, Sunday school today. Uh, we're to be in the Malvern uh, round four. So uh, please be, uh, let's just pray one for the other. Yes, right. First Baptist Vine. And uh, please uh, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us all. And to God be the glory. So uh, thank you, thank you. We'll look to see you on Wednesday in our uh, midweek service. Uh, God moved up on our hearts this past Wednesday uh, to just pray, to just pray. And I think there's times we need to really pray and believe our God. Amen, amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you again. We praise and bless your holy name. We pray, God, that everything that has been said is pleasing and acceptable yes. in your sight. If there is anything that we have forgotten, anything that we didn't do, or anything that we did do, it shouldn't have done. God, you know our hearts. You know our minds. And I pray that you would allow your kind of glory to be revealed like never before. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. To you that is able to keep us from falling, to present us spotless before the Father in heaven. Your love, your majesty, sweet communion of your Holy Spirit. Rest rule and abide with us now and forevermore. And all of the saints of God would say together, Amen. 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 All right. God bless you. God bless you.